our yeah. first one back in the studio for a long time. Long time. Since your vacation. Since S- I was sitting right here, obviously we had our worst produce piece <laughs> of content yet. Yeah, for, for big episode 50. And uh, I would just say uh, thanks for everybody for tuning in first. Um, if you guys want to sub, hit the like button on the YouTube here. Um, and feel free to follow us uh, at Post90Pod on Twitter. Um, following us on Twitter is following the playoffs as they happen at least within reason yeah i i will say though during the first game since, since we were at it uh we were not live tweeting up to the pedigree that we usually do because it was tough not to be uh so like in the moment right well because um, normally we'd be in the press box so it would just be us but we actually yeah um, we brought a little group there we brought a group there because we as much as we love being in the press box and like working in the games and um, experiencing it that way uh, for for a playoff game after not being able to really go to stadiums for you know a long time and, and not being able to experience the playoffs last year mm-hmm. we wanted it to experience it in a way that we'd remember yeah and I think we experienced it at the same way that every NYCFC fan that made it out to Yankee Stadium that day did in the best way possible um, I mean we showed up early and we went to Billy's for the first time that was cool you see all this like random swag that we got they were yep. just giving stuff away yep um they came and sauced us like margaritas for free took just pictures of us take pictures of us i don't know i wish i mean hometown I, celebrities now or how that works they've got to send <laughs> some type of invoice i mean <laughs> yeah uh but they did give us free stuff for taking a picture too that was pretty cool That's fair. they they took care of nycfc fans in, in yeah. new york over there and it was funny too because um it got to the point where we we just wanted to be in the stadium at one point. Mm-hmm. Like the the whole idea of Billy's was to go. You can meet Ian and in whatever. And we left. We left, mm-hmm. and I mean shoulder to shoulder, <laughs> just walk straight past Ian. But it was kind of a situation where we're like, okay, he's with his family. Yeah, Let's not, not be those guys. No, he's Let's, walking to the bar where he is about to be a celebrity. Let's give him this last thirty minute. seconds <laughs> with his kids and his <laughs> wife. Uh, but yeah, then we went to the stadium. Um, And I mean, from the jump, for me anyways, like the game was living and dying on every single pass that was made, every single tackle that was made. It was like, I mean, the season is on the line at at that point. But like the first thing that was the craziest to me was like, it couldn't have been more than like two minutes into the game. Maxi gets tackled in like the worst way. And it set the tone too. Yeah. And I was... I was pretty, I mean, I could have seen a red card, but, you know, in hindsight, I understand um, you're at that point, you're kind of deciding the fate of the game almost immediately. I mean, and not giving Atlanta a chance to fight if you take someone off the field. So Atlanta decided their own fate. They did. In a lot of ways. I mean, they pressed well, I thought, in the, in the beginning, but it, we it died too. off quick. Yeah. I mean, it was a fast paced game for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it doled out and then it really opened up really fast yeah well really at the at the start for sure atlanta was uh pressing really hard um and they had i think they because i looked up at the board at one point and they were like in the 60 high 60s of possession versus us yeah and i was like this is a weird thing to have happen at yankee stadium because it typically doesn't go that way right well and another thing is like i said they did they did a good job at at pressing us but we were also breaking the press i thought pretty well Mm -hmm. um but then again you know we'd get fouled have to play it out and then you know give up possession and it was kind of just that weird game for a while yeah i mean and ultimately uh we i mean tati i guess you could you could say he got lucky um and somebody asked him in the post-match press conference he was like what does it say about how informed you are right now that even when you're miss hitting balls they're ending up in the back of the net i <laughs> that's like such a good explanation it was of amazing because well, we were also like if the the goal was was on the other Opposite side of the side, field, yeah. um, to where we were, and so when we saw that, we thought it got deflected and it was going over. Mm-hmm. So there, I mean, I think that was kind of the vibe of the whole stadium. Yeah, that's until, why you just hear it like it's dead quiet. Yeah, and then they're like, "Oh, what, that went in." <laughs> until Tati started celebrating, the stadium was completely yeah. quiet. If Nobody Tati had a clue. Didn't celebrate like if he just ran back. No, no one, one had would a clue. have known. No, um, but it was a it was an insane goal and. Um, Medina would have got cut if he touched that ball. Yeah, because he also could have potentially been off sides, which would have ruled it. Right. It would have been like the, uh, I think it was Ronaldo and Nani situation back in the day. Mm -hmm. Ronaldo hit like a crazy goal, 
and then it, all it had to do was just cross the line, bounce it over, and yep. somebody came in and just booted it in. And they were offside. You saw Nani's leaving Orlando. Yeah, uh, his 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 ego is too big for that. We're not place. an Orlando podcast, and I wouldn't want to be right I almost now wore either. Purple. <laughs> I almost wore purple. And uh, to pay your respects. No, not quite. <laughs> Something along the lines of uh, bozo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then we have the the Collins goal. Who I think this is only his second I, goal of the season, I and that was offside. Like yeah, in the ga- in it. the flow of the game, I was like, "Oh, it's getting called off." And, uh, yeah. Then they, they were celebrating, and nobody said anything. So I was like, "All right." Well, Maxi that. Maxi was not unlucky not to score there, but Guzan got a hand on it, but only right. enough to to put it off the crossbar and which in the stadium too i thought the santi goal was a santi goal Mm -hmm. i didn't think it was offside yeah but obviously once watching it i was like oh that's very clearly offside yeah and to me there were two uh like standout figures in r11 um and first we could talk a little bit about maxi who I think he played absolutely out of... Like, this is his best performance of the season. While getting chopped. Yeah, constantly. Constantly. Literally constantly. I mean, like, in in chopped, I literally mean, like, violently chopped. Yeah, cut down. Yeah. Play after play They were trying to make him not want to play. Yeah. And it wasn't really cold enough to do that. No, it wasn't. I mean... I think their goal was like, oh, it's cold. Like, make him uncomfortable. He's older. You know, make if, him very uncomfortable, and he's not going to want to play. It seems like it motivated him. He was balling. Literally, out. I mean, this was his best performance of the season. And that's what, you know what, that's somebody who uh, his contract is expiring. Um, I'm sure we're going to have some off-season conversations uh, when the soccer slows down, and we're like, what do we talk about on here? Yeah. Um, About Maxi and, and whether or not he's going to resign and stuff like that. But when you see him show up with the biggest performance in the biggest game of the year it's it gets hard um especially as a as an older player on the team that definitely uh holds a leadership role yeah it's performances like that 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 start pushing the needle towards we want him back i i think too um until you get back out to the stadium and see him play you forget how insanely good he is like Mm -hmm. he is really really good and um the example i used was like most of these dudes are like Ford trucks trying to turn, and he is a, <laughs> he is a little Tesla. Just he's able to turn in ways that like it's hard to explain. Yeah, how insane it is because you look at it and you're like, oh, you, like I could do that. No, yeah, you're a Ford truck. He's Tesla. And and part of why we look so good too, I think, is it's that uh, it's those rose tinted glasses from being at the game. Like we, I think the, probably the first time that we talked about it on this show was when we went to Wrenchler. Um, when you watch a TV broadcast, you miss so much um, of just like you know the stuff that's literally not even on camera. Um, like mostly the ref, the ref too. I mean, his interaction mm-hmm. with everybody um, is crazy to watch. But yeah, and and thankfully, uh, I think at least Ian and Joe make it a lot easier to get a pulse on exactly what's happening in the game and right. seeing things that aren't necessarily on camera. And we're blessed for that because some of the uh i'm happy we were there some of the mls cup playoff uh games that i've watched the announcing is pretty wild pretty uh and wild and not the way that you would like pretty put you to bed not winning any fans for the See, mls that's, way that's where I'm, I'm like i said i'm happy that you know we went to the game when ian uh wasn't on because mm-hmm. um other people are just not and it's, it's not to knock them it's just although i think it was 12 men who i it, do love but yeah it's not like to put others down to lift him up like they're just ian Mm -hmm. is just so top tier that everybody else just seems awful just by comparison yeah and then i mean luckily we can we can drop this we're going to the away day at gillette too that's one of the few uh beauties of living in connecticut there's not many so yeah make sure we point out that's one of the few we will be there (laughs) um hopefully it's not too cold man in the supporter section too Uh, so i got that thin blood man yeah me too that blood that's built for that and uh the other thing about the playoffs is um we with orlando going out uh that means we we can't get another home game until the finals if rsl who is the uh the eighth seed upset seattle um if they make it all the way to likely it's looking like we're probably not having another game at at yankee stadium let me double check um i think 
Yeah, they are. Yeah, okay. RSL beat them. Okay, yeah, I thought yeah. so. RSL On the pens, eight. right? Yeah. That, it was like the really... They had a lot of shots, no goals, went to pens. Yes. Ended up losing pens. Actually, RSL won without taking a single shot, they said. So... I love that, dude. Ride that to <laughs> glory. Let's see you in the finals. Yeah, I mean, I'm now an RSL That's fan, at least until, like, December 11th, I think, is the finals, if, yeah. if by some miracle. Dude, I really don't care if we just easily walk it in. I mean, it, it can't be because we'd go past the revs. Yeah. So, we, like we said, we have the revs, uh, and then after that, if things go well for us on Tuesday, then we're going to have uh, our choice between Nashville or Philly. We've had a long time off. Yeah. I mean, they, and Revs will have even longer off. Yeah, I believe, uh, I think in the pregame coverage, Alexi Lalas said it's 23 days, uh, two days from now on Tuesday, that the Revs would have not played a soccer game. Which is good, but also, I mean, that's long, but after, after so many days, it's the same. Yeah. Like, I'd say after like a week and a half, it's the same thing as 23 days. Yeah. Although, I mean, at least in our situation, from, from what we've seen this season, we always go into the break and we get on these mics and we're like, oh, this break is going to be so good for right. us. And that's then we, we come back and we lose like the next month. That's why I'm, that's AKA why I'm, October. I'm also happy that, that we didn't record straight after the game because of how hyped up we are. Mm -hmm. We were at that point, um, to be completely realistic. We're playing a very good team off of a, you know, a long break. Mm -hmm. a holiday break where people are going to be pounding turkey yeah and by the end of the by the end of that atlanta game i mean we were we were playing a wounded animal and i yeah. don't know if that's hunter terms that's just something that i've <laughs> heard before but i Man guess plays hunter simulator <laughs> one time i don't know what i don't know but what that means to me is like and they showed it they were getting incredibly chippy i mean they had what a 94th minute red card um, and yeah. it was off a double yellow, and Alfredo got chopped super hard and had to get subbed out. But we saw, we saw him. He was fine. Yeah, after. he looked to be walking, and that's a guy who... He's with his family and stuff like that in the garage. Yeah, yeah. that's that's a guy who uh, we need right now. Like, we literally need him so bad. We'll come back. We'll come back to my thought that I just had, but content happened after the game as Oh, well. yeah, we can bring that up. And I, at the, so the last thing... I mean, maybe 10 minutes ago, I said there were two standout players we wanted to talk about, and we, <laughs> we got into Maxi, yep. uh, and I just remembered. So the second player to me was uh, Tavon. Tavon was insane. We, to watch him play, like, to watch him play live, I think really put into perspective because, I mean, he played, he did play one really terrible ball. Mm -hmm. That was his only, that was the only thing he did wrong in the yeah. game. Yeah, I think all we really do on this podcast is get on here and boost Tavon's signal yeah. to the world because, because I think incredible. He's, the, he's like, it's the blessing that came out of Tenor Home going down. Mm -hmm. um, is Tavon Gray being able to grow, but also just take this position and run with it? Yeah. And um, I think Ronnie's doing really well in terms of, you know, the tactics that he's giving mm -hmm. to Gray because it just, it fits him perfectly. He's getting the job done at a high level. And I think the highest praises that we can uh, close out the analysis of this episode with before the final story um, <laughs> is, I th I, yeah, I think the highest praises that we can give Ronnie is I feel uh, totally comfortable going to the Rev Stadium right now. Um, yeah. I feel not, not only comfortable, but confident. Um, I, could, I could see it going either way at the end of the day, too, because I do know this team. Um, but I don't feel doomed. But also the sport. Yeah. Like, not just this team, this, the sport. Mm -hmm. That it's it's two high-level Eastern teams going at it. Um, and obviously, this is the this is going to be the game that everybody's watching. Yeah. Um, this is the matchup. And, um, you know, in, in my opinion, this is, you know, the person who wins this should be in the finals. I would agree, for sure. Uh, and then we could talk a little bit about so <laughs> the afters. Yeah, so well, we we can kind of we, we can, there's two parts to this, right? So you can bring you can bring in the other story from the first time from okay. the exact same garage. We had to get our parking validated, mm -hmm. which basically just means like NYCFC is like we got you. Yeah, You're not going to pay forty five dollars for parking. And so, but we forgot both times to get our ticket validated the first time. It wasn't that bad because all we had to do was tell Ibiaga and uh, Thor to back their car up. And so, it was yeah, so fine. we could back out of the ticket 
uh, location where you hand it in. So they're like, okay, you're allowed to leave for right. free. And so we had them, Ibiaga and Thor, at the time, fine. Yeah. Had them back up, whatever, got it, got it done. This time, however... I forgot to validate our ticket. <laughs> for the second um, time. So we're at the window and the lady tells me that and I have to, uh, I have to back the car up. And uh, right behind us is the golden boot winner in his red Range Rover. Um, and mind you, I did, I definitely should have looked in my backup camera much sooner than I did. But I was backing up and there was a second where the four people uh, that are passengers in the car Yo, me. don't hit Tati. Yeah, don't. I look back and I go, hey, don't hit Tati. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, that's the that's the golden boot winner and yeah. and likely MVP. I mean, in my opinion, likely yeah. MVP. Um, maybe don't hit that guy. Yeah. And Tati looked very confused. He was like, why? <laughs> it, it almost looked like he had, like he was like, bro, I'll pay for the parking, like whatever. <laughs> yeah. So we we held him up for five five or so minutes, unfortunately. Yeah. And so Tati I backs up. Tati. And just the the row of human beings that we were holding behind up, him. I mean, it's like it's Tati and it's then Tales and, <laughs> and then just everybody. Everyone just looking at us like, what the yeah. Are as these we guys drive doing? by, like, oh, uh, what they forgot to validate their ticket. <laughs> I have somebody that does that for yeah, me. You uh, idiot. Oh, their wife doesn't do that for them. <laughs> so but yeah, that's the that's the funny story of the another of yeah another um like what do they call those things like easter egg that we we have from this podcast and yeah the long oh, list of them. there is an easter egg actually visible but i don't know how visible it'll be with the with what the, is that uh, it's the elusive golden star hidden oh in here on the media <laughs> tags even know. we're not going to talk about it yeah because that's just maybe another time we can, fun, but we can spread awareness uh on behalf of uh not only our half of us but also uh the blue balls pod we can spread awareness get, about get your golden star yeah before you go to the game man yankee stadium security Send the email they don't care S1 about you immediately before you enter before you get in your car that morning they, Send they apparently don't care about you they don't care about blue balls pod who i'll say <laughs> you know what he probably should have had that instead he of he probably should have uh yeah well i would say it's on youtube yeah that's what she that's what the girl said the yes. security said yep. don't worry you can't get into the presser it'll be on youtube after it'll be on youtube That's thanks fine. guys thanks security <laughs> keeping them safe yeah hey at least they're never she or at least she told us they're never gonna do that again they're never gonna have a in-person press conference again because of how difficult the nycfc media made it yeah but well, that's why being, you don't, by attend by trying to attend it after rsvping you it. you just don't let the yankees organization be hey, part of nycfc this is why we need a stadium boys yes that's why we need a stadium unless so, parents it was like it was like your parents came in and were controlling things and they don't know how it works yeah so if you'll be at gillette we'll be at gillette um come see us yeah i mean i we'll would keep um, a sticker in our pocket if you come find us we'll give you a sticker yeah absolutely and uh if you're in the supporter i would assume most nycfc fans should be in the supporter section this will be our first time in a nycfc supporter section so we're stoked about that. We're bringing the whole whole group, group. again. Yeah, the whole group again that We're that went to the Yankee Stadium. Hand. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I don't want to look far ahead. I don't want to put on tape, but I hope Philly beats Nashville because it would mean a lot to us if we beat the refs. Right. In terms of attendance of the third round. Right. So. And I can go to Sheets finally. Go been, to what? Been craving Sheets for a while. What is that? Philly people know. Sheets. Pennsylvania Pennsylvania people know. Okay. Well. We'll have to find out if Sheets we end up in, in the town. Goated. In the town. In the town. Is that how they say it down there? I don't know. It's kind of different. <laughs> yeah, they're very Worlds. far. Um, but thank you guys for... Uh, for Dealing with this. Yeah, listening, watching. Um, Putting so, us in positions. Yeah, it was a, it was a great week to... Uh, I mean, Thanksgiving. To, to understand how thankful we are for the position that... Uh, we've we've been able to put ourselves in by just really staying consistent and um communicating with you guys and you guys right. uh sharing what is hopefully going to be an amazing season with us um we try to get this one out a little later so that not only we had a break um from work and from this um but you guys had a break to you know chill out with the fam um and enjoy and holidays enjoy the wind too yeah so we got revs in a couple of days. Let's let's we see go, what the boys can do because they're buzzing. We go Tuesday. Peace. Peace.
Thank you.